January yet, and soon it will be Christmas time again. I fill your stockings full of debt with all the things you see in magazines and TV screens that will keep you satisfied just for a day. And if it's true that money buys love, you can never spend enough as you pay your way into another's heart. This repetitive loop that's always different, always new, but the finish line is always just the start. Advertisements, I believe, convince myself I need their shiny products and their labels and their names. Just reasons to pretend that all these dollars that I spend invest in status and happiness. Oh yeah, and pain, and I'm too high to deny that everything I buy is just another sign society is torn. So I just keep on throwing without looking where they're going. All my coins and what with Christmas round the corner. Yesterday I built myself a mountain underground out of packaging that I bought 'cause it looked nice. Though there was something else inside that further satisfied my mind. But it's true that every purchase has its price, and every dollar is a tear that she cries. And then one day I saw when I was watching Channel Four an advertisement trying to sell me green. They wrapped it up in bubble wrap and packaged it in plastic until it resembled something that I need. Next day I saw it on a shelf and thought maybe I'll treat myself to a shiny coloured box with a tag. It made me happy for a day, and I got bored, threw it away, and it piled up in a big black plastic bag. Still, I just can't stop walking out of all these shops with a receipt and a logo on a bag. But when I take a look inside, I get a big surprise. Play past the parcel with layers of card and paper and bubble wrap. It looks shiny and great until I use it and it breaks. The receipt is now lost and can't be found. So it ends up on the floor in a big pile by the door, just waiting to be buried underground. Myself a mountain underground, out of packaging that I bought 'cause it looked nice. Thought there was something else inside that further satisfied my mind. But it's true that every purchase has its price, and every dollar is a tear that she cries. But now I feel the pain. I'm just a pawn in this game, and every year's the same as January. Soon it will be Christmas again. Now you see what it'll cost as every purchase is a loss. Consumerism becomes society's breaking back. And as we enter this recession, money only buys depression. As we all struggle to fill it, Santa Claus is sad, but he still comes down the chimney. He spins pies and takes your money. He's behind the bill that's still you're trying to pay. And you'll struggle to survive till something new you want to buy. Market and you continue with the game. But did you ever think about all these things that you throw out? They seem to disappear off the earth, but they stick them in a pit deep underground and cover it with a layer of cheap artificial turf. And everything looks nice when all that's nasty is disguised, but unfortunately the story don't stop here. Pretend it isn't there, 'cause it's easier not to care. And there's more important things, like a Christmas drawing near. So dear Father Christmas, I know you don't exist, but I still have one request for you this year. It would be a huge help if you and all your little help could please consider a change of career. Then reduce an air price package wrapped up in bright coloured wrapping.
Every purchase has its price And every dollar is a tear that she cries